Hey everybody. In this video I'm going to tell you a little bit about this uh, new phone I got for navigation on the motorcycle. So I had been navigating with an old Samsung Galaxy S5 which was kind of getting a little bit too old and slow to be useful. Uh, I tried using my Google Pixel 3 for a little bit but it does not play well with gloves. It was kind of a pain. So upon the recommendation from a member on AdventureRider.com I decided to try this I think it's pronounced Yuli phone, Armor X7 Pro, which is an Android 10 rugged IP68 smartphone. So this thing has a 5 inch screen, 4 gigabytes of RAM, a 4000 milliamp hour battery, GPS, Bluetooth, and has a fairly ruggedized case. I do have a data sim in the phone so I can get live map updates. Uh, I also use it to stream music while I'm riding to my headset. I think I paid about $140 for this phone on Amazon.com and I'll put a link to this phone and also the software that I'm running in the video description. I also want to take a minute to uh, thank all of my subscribers. We just hit 500 subscribers on the channel. Also a shout out to Pittsburgh Overlanders for helping push me over that threshold try to get some more videos out this summer. I'm going to hopefully get back to my video a week publishing schedule now that school is just about out. So I stopped to play around with adjusting the brightness on the screen which helped. The app I use for navigation is called OSM and Plus and I'm going to stop here and I'm going to adjust the map settings a little bit to a high contrast color setting which will help a little bit as well. So some things I like about this phone, uh, it does work really well with gloves on. I tested it with a few different pairs of gloves and even with some really thick winter gloves I was able to uh, navigate the phone fairly easily and select what I needed to. It does seem fairly well constructed. It looks like it could uh, take a hit. The screen works well enough in direct sunlight with the uh, settings modified just a little bit. The battery life on, on this phone is really good. I can pretty much use it all day long on a ride without having to worry about pl plugging it in. Uh, it does have a micro USB um, port for charging and that port is behind a little um, flap to help it stay waterproof when you are not charging. The phone also has a little uh, spot on the bottom for a tether, which is a nice little touch. So I do usually tether it to the bike, though I had the tether kind of just floating free in this clip. A couple things I don't really like about the phone. There is just a tiny bit of input lag, so it is not quite as responsive as, say, my Google Pixel 3. But overall, it, it's, uh, it's not too bad. It's definitely just as good or better than a, 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 the Garmin handhelds that I have as far as touch screens. Well, thank you everyone for watching. Uh, I'll say in conclusion, this is a pretty decent alternative to something like a dedicated Garmin GPS. And it is probably a better alternative than putting your daily driver phone on your bike where it's gonna get beat up and have to uh, deal with all the vibrations and dust and dirt and possible water ingress. It is definitely nice to have kind of a cheap beater phone that you can use in place of busting up your expensive equipment. Well, thanks again for watching, and I will catch you next time.